Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, so I posted a screenshot, I'm gonna pop it up right here, in my Facebook group asking you guys to share your unexpected or big money bolos. And hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. reseller. All right, let's get started. Boy, oh boy, did you guys deliver. Um, I think I'm going to have to divide this up into three videos. There were so many. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel and watch for um, this screen share in the thumbnail in some format. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do two videos or three because there are a ton, but I'm going to try this format. I feel like it's a little more personal. The other one, I was just kind of showing um, the screenshots and I just felt like, I, I don't know. I just, I like having this like communicating, like I'm communicating with you guys. So instead it's gonna be more work, but I'm gonna pop up the screen shares as I go over each item, okay? So we are gonna get started with a bunch of big money bolos. I'm gonna say there's probably gonna be between 30 and 50 in this video. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna watch the time and kind of stop it when it gets to be excessively long. <laughs> no, I'm gonna try to keep it at about 30, 35 minutes, okay? All right, let's get started. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So the er first item, and I will tell you, um, if the person is a Bolo Buddies member, I will pop up a screenshot of their YouTube channel. So um, that's another perk of being a member of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel is that I'm gonna advertise your YouTube channel so that everybody watching can go check out these amazing channels because they're Bolo Finders with fantastic reseller content. So um, let's start with the first one here. Got it in the free bin at a yard sale. Don't know what made me pick it up, but I'm glad I did. It sold for full asking price. It is a Junie B. Jones, and I'm going to pop it up right here. Uh, Junie B. Jones is a party animal. Barbara Park. It's a mini plush doll from 2003. So I've never seen anything like this before, but I am definitely going to be on the lookout. The next item found at the Goodwill for $10, $10 and sold quickly. Took an offer of $74.99. Um, I'm sorry, $74.99 to $60. I don't know what that means. Oh, okay. So they had it listed for $74.99. Took a best offer of $60. So it's this seashell hanging macarame. I think macarame, macarame, I think is how you pronounce it. It's like the braiding of the um, rope or... Uh, you, you can see it on here, but um, it's a plant holder, you guys. Mid-century modern plant holder, so definitely very cool. Um, and I'm reading off my computer, so I will be looking down a lot, but still I can connect with you guys. Um, bought these at a church rummage sale in a box with two dozen other educational packets and books for five bucks, sold on a 10-day auction for $125.95. It is an er early reading intervintage, intervention Scott Forsman, part one through four, teacher's guide. Very cool. Okay, so this one comes from Mindful Recycle, and she is a bolo finder. You guys, I when I watch her What Solds, my jaw is like, I want to find these items. So definitely check her out. Um, she said she picked this up at a non-professional estate sale. They were selling their father's collection. Apparently, this was the second weekend they had this sale, and she got there late in the day on the last day, and this was still there, you guys. She picked it up for 10 bucks and sold it for $239 plus shipping. So it's a Franklin Mint. I always look up Franklin Mint. It's a great brand to bolo for. Some of it's bread and butter. Some of it is big money. This one was big money. It's a um, 1 16th scale, the Western Chuck Wagon, and it's complete, so... This one um, is a Tiffany & Company New York Fifth Avenue Bone China teacup. And she paid 69 cents for this at the Salvation Army. So very cool. Pick this up at a little church thrift shop for nine cents, listed for $99, but sold for 69 and it went to Brazil. So it looks like they took a best offer. Started, She started her eBay store a month ago and says she'll be starting a YouTube channel soon. So it's this Olympus camera. 
The next item is this um, home frocks silk skirt. I've never heard of home frocks. Have you? Let me know in the comments if you have heard of this brand and did your item sell for big money. This item is new. Um, the, let's see. She said this brand is new to me. I'm like, it's new to me too. Purchased for $4.64 at an estate sale of a clothes hoarder. Uh, bought two carloads of clothing from it and wish I would have gone back for a third. Offered to buy off all the clothing that was left at the end of the sale, but the estate sale company wouldn't do it. She said she needed to get her client a big tax receipt, so they were donating the rest. Ah. All right, the next one um, is a Nike Kobe. Um, it's like a jacket, and you can see it right here. Bought it at the Goodwill for $15 and sold it for $180. That's amazing. Um, let's see. Okay, this next one. I, I love these types of bolos. I know that they're harder to find and they're a little weird, but... I think they're awesome and they always make me smile. So these two discounted shark brand cleaning products were in a lot I purchased at an auction for $5. It took a while to sell, but I waited for the right buyer. And what I'm reading to you is the, um, I post this on Facebook and then people fill in the comments and I'm reading you their comment and then showing you the item. So this is a great way to learn. This is a way to verify that the item was purchased and paid for. So um, definitely be on the lookout for these items. Sold this for $79.99 and the buyer paid shipping. So you guys, it's Shark Wood and Hard Floor Cleaner. How awesome is that? That might be my favorite just because it's so weird. Um, the next is a Nerf ball. It's a rare turbo football um, by Nerf and got it out of the free box at a yard sale. I know these are a bolo, but I wasn't sure about this because there is damage. Fully disclosed the damage, got a bid, and... Oh, looks like the auction had not ended, but at the time they posted it, it was at $29.99, and the buyer paid the shipping. Sold within a couple of hours. Was expecting to sit on it for a few months, priced it high, and got it sold. It is um, Vandell Hearts of um, Hearts for the Sony PlayStation PS1 tested and works. So $79.99 for that one, you guys. The next one comes from the Rebel Reseller. She is also a big money bolo finder with an amazing channel. She does a lot of what sold videos and she sells a lot of plush. So if you want to learn about plush, definitely check her out. Here is her channel, and she bought this at an estate sale for $5. It is a vintage ideal toy giggles doll. Uh, looks like it's marked 1966 and sold for $134.96, so very cool. This next one was at the Goodwill, um, deep in a toy bin, she says, and she paid $3.99 for it. It is a Mattel pixel chicks house from 2006 six and she sold it for 98 dollars. i don't know this brand i've never seen it before but i love selling toys so i am definitely going to be on the lookout the next one came from an estate sale he has no idea why it went high this is when sometimes auctions just happen to pay off um it sold for $358.87, you guys. It is a Spiegel catalog from 1989, and it's just a fashion catalog. So what a nice surprise for this seller. Super cool. Um, the next one, the guy says, I'm going with this glove. My wife and I do most of our sourcing at the bins, um, and luckily most everyone there is going for the vintage clothes. Anyways, I probably have less than a dollar or two in this glove. Best part is the buyer was very thankful for the item. So it is a baseball glove. It's a Wilson A2000 XLC, whatever that means. And um, it sold for $81, you guys. So definitely a bolo. So the next person says, I didn't even know what this was when I found it. Just thought it looked odd and possibly old. Got it at a local thrift store that provides resources for anyone in the community needing help. All plush is 50 cents, but this day it was half off toys. So she paid 25 cents for this and it sold in less than two days for asking price of $68. You guys, it's a vintage pink 1950s Angora rabbit fur cat. Kitten stuffed plush. 
and it says Jerry Elsner. Pretty cute, right? All right, she got this at a fill a bag for $5 at the Goodwill outlet, bought nine bags total over three weeks for a total of $45. And she's up to over $500 in profits for what she's sold so far. Lots of health and beauty items as well as other household items. So these are um, Deco Silverfish Packs. I have no idea what these are for. I'm guessing it's a health and beauty thing or something. I, I don't know. But anyway, she sold them for $59.99 with free shipping. Okay, so let's see what else we have here. We are, oh, we're good. We're good on time. All right, so she says, my 10-year-old grandson found this Star Wars book while shopping with me in a very small mom and pop thrift store. All hardback books were a dollar. I looked it up and wow, I listed it for $54.99 and took a best offer of $50 with free media mail shipping after it was listed for about two months. Buyer left positive feedback. Um, she sold this Star Wars Lords, uh, I think it's, a, is it a book? I think it's a book. Yeah, it's a book for $50. So it's a Star Wars book. I don't know. I need to scan books more. Tell me, do you scan books or do you need to scan books more? All right, the next one is let's see oh this one's cool got it at a um got it in a 50 dollars storage unit paid pennies for it and sold it for full asking price and shipped it off to italy it's a Ru rubik's cube <coughs> excuse me 30th anniversary wood edition sold it for 78 dollars and the buyer paid shipping so cool um, the next one, she bought it for 50 cents and sold it for $49 in less than an hour. And she did sell it on Mercari and the buyer paid shipping. So it is a 1995 Bluebird Polly Pocket Disney Snow White Cottage with seven figures and the kettle. Um, so definitely be on the lookout for that. This next item was purchased at a yard sale for 25 cents and sold for... $40 in less than one hour. Um, it is a vintage meatloaf bat. It's a concert tea. We'll leave it at that. And it sold for $40. I don't know if it's single stitch or not. It does not say. Okay, this next one's interesting. She got it at the Benz and sold it on Poshmark. It is made in Ireland and it's a wool and silk poncho. So... $125. Check that out. That's awesome. Um, somebody wrote in the comments, holy cow, that's ugly. <laughs> they say ugly sells. So, you know, when everybody has their own opinion, some people are going to love it and some people are going to think it's ugly, but you know what? Ugly does sell. So ugly and weird. Okay, the next item was purchased by Butterfly Hustles, who also has a reseller channel. She is super cl close to 1,000 subscribers, so definitely go and sub her up. Show her some love with a sub. She got this silverware set at a um, thrift store for $5.49. To be exact, it was the Goodwill. And it sold for $80, full asking price. Now, um... She just sold another set for $50. So she is picking up silverware and selling it. Uh, Butterfly Hustles is who I learned about the straw hats from. You can definitely take a lot away from her YouTube channel if you watch it. Um, she finds really awesome stuff. So definitely check her out. Again, she's almost a 1K. Let's get her there. All right, this next one was a $5 yard sale pickup. She sold this for $300 within days of posting it. It is a Corgi, uh, hold on, Pembroke Welsh Corgi cookie jar. Montana Silversmith's Ranch Rascals. No clue what any of that means, but it's a cookie jar, you guys. And it sold for $300. How awesome is that? I'm guessing maybe somebody that has that dog, like really wanted a cookie jar that looks like their dog. I don't know why people buy the things they buy. Um, okay, so this next one, I'm just going to pop the screen share up and tell you what the screen share says. So it looks like this vintage signed Richard Begay Navajo Sterling and Gold Storyteller Bangle Bracelet. Uh, got it in the trash for free and sold it for $99. Um, the next one is, it looks like it's a uh, antique Victorian cut glass crystal tobacco 
humidor jar with lid, sold it for $59 and she sourced it for two. And the last one is a set of 12. Looks like there's some sort of dishes. I'm sorry, it's just a screenshot, so I don't have any additional information. Paid $12 for it and sold it for $250. So hard to really tell what exactly it is, but um, definitely that storyteller bangle is very, very cool. Anything storyteller, definitely look it up and use the word storyteller in the title because people do search it. That is something I learned from Moonstone Mamas. If you've never checked out her channel, she knows so much about jewelry. She's amazing. Check out Moonstone Mamas. The next item is this um, Child's Play VHS. It's brand new, still sealed. Um, some VHS are going for crazy money. Some are still bread and butter. I don't know how to know which ones are worth big money. I just am going to go with, I'm buying anything sealed VHS that's cheap because I know I can make some money on it. And I'm just hoping that at some point I'm going to hit the jackpot. So definitely scan that barcode or type the title in. Um, she got this for free from Facebook Marketplace and sold it for $60 plus shipping. The next item, she said, this is not big money, but I'm happy and have all the rest to sell still. Bought in a huge lot in a live auction with 300 of these things for $2.50. Now, these are the vintage Kellogg's Breakfast Bunch. Um, I personally think that she could have made more money on this if she would have parted it out, number one, but she got 300 and she probably doesn't want to mess with it. I also would have started my auction higher. Um, that is just my personal opinion because there's 21 of them there. So at least started it out at maybe $19.99. You know, that's like a buck each. So um, I don't know. I also probably would have searched um, Kellogg's Breakfast Bunch and I would have seen if any of them sell for big money individually. Sometimes some of their, like the rarer ones can sell for more. So that would be my tip on that. I think she could have, she's, could have made some more money there, but I could be wrong. I didn't do any research on it. Um, the next one is I bought this item for $7.99, Shop Goodwill plus shipping. Oh wait, bought this for $7.99 on Shop Goodwill plus shipping. Total around $20. She sold this one item on eBay for $150. So it looks like um, it was just a one item. So I was thinking like shopgoodwill.com mostly does lots, but this looks like it was an individual item. It is a vintage Brumberger wooden dollhouse with furniture, super rare, sold it for $150. So 20 into 150 is an awesome flip. Bought this for 99 cents at the Goodwill and sold it on eBay for $25 plus shipping. So it's a vintage 1930s ceramic pin cushion and it's shaped like a doll. What do you guys think? Sold it for 25 bucks. I think it's pretty interesting. Uh, the next item was picked up at the Goodwill for $2.99. Sold it on eBay for 50. It's a Fitz and Floyd Kensington Rabbit Bunny with Cabbage, Celery, or Cracker Tray. And Fitz and Floyd is a great brand. Always look it up. Some's bread and butter. Some is big money. So definitely a range with that brand. Bought this for $1.99 at the Goodwill, sold it for $75 plus shipping on eBay. Again, it's another Fitz and Floyd. It's a face and it's like a guy sneezing. Um, it's a tissue box cover, you guys. How cool is that? $75. Um, and somebody wrote in the comments, I've sold two of those on Etsy and regularly have people messaging me who found the image on Google. Google, so fun and sought after, she said. So it sounds like this is definitely a bolo item that people look for because she's got messages after the fact that it sold. Okay, so this for sure, okay, this is what he wrote. This for sure, I got four pair at an estate sale on the last hour of the first day. Paid two bucks a piece. I had no idea they were so valuable. Sold all four in September within days and hours of listing each pair. $89.99 because it had a chip on the lens. Two sold for $119 and one sold for $129. They are vintage American optical FG58 gold tone aviator sunglasses. So my husband also likes to source sunglasses and he's really good at finding Ray-Bans at flea markets. Um, they are, Ray-Bans can be faked. So you really have to do your research and know what to look for when you're looking at those. But um, with enough research, you can definitely figure it out. 
I, if I find Ray-Bans, I just give them to my husband because I, I don't have time to research. It's just too much for me. I like to just get things listed, move it quick. Um, my husband's more of a details and looks everything up and really, really studies it. Uh, this next item, these are vintage trip New York City lace pants. Uploaded, a, unloaded a bunch of vintage from an auctioneer who doesn't deal with clothes. Big fat zero, paid nothing for them. Listed for $125 and sent out an offer for $99 on Poshmark. So very, very cool. The next item, purchased at the Goodwill for $3.99, sold in a week when they sent an offer for $180. I must say, I also love this one. Again, I just like these weird things. Um, Hefty Zoo Pals Party Pack box set, 144 pieces. You guys, it's plates and bowls and cups. <laughs> $180. Can you believe it? Um, somebody wrote, I used to buy these for my kids. Crazy. Somebody else put thinking the same thing. Somebody else put, I would have walked right past it if they saw it. So again, you know, that is why I do these videos because there's always going to be something that you see that you didn't know about. I know that I am learning a ton from you guys and I appreciate everybody that shared. Thank you so much. And again, make sure you're subbed to the channel. I'm going to try to do this once a month. This month, I had so many shares. I think I'm going to get two videos out of it. So um, let me know if, you, if you've watched the other ones. I do have a playlist for this series. Um, let me know if you like this format better. So the next paid $1.06 at one of my favorite thrifts. And it looks like it sold for $100. It's a 1975 Megacorp Wonder Woman action figure doll. And she is nude. The next one came from uh, Vintage360, and I'm shouting him out because he has been a longtime friend who I have purchased several handmade items from. He makes beautiful jewelry from silverware. Um, so definitely go and check him out. Again, it's Vintage360, or wait, is it 360 Vintage? Oh, I'll try to pop it up. I'll try to remember to pop it up. But um, he also sells other things. And he picked up this vintage um, Aldo something Venice painting. Um, I'll pop it up. You guys can check it out. I'm not really sure how to say all these big words. But he got it for $60 and he sold it for $350. So Ron is definitely a bolo finder, but he also makes beautiful jewelry. So check it out. I think it's 360 vintage. Yeah. He's on Instagram also. So check him out there as well. Um... So she writes, paid probably less than 20 back in the day when I bought it from Hot Topic, early 2000s. So it looks like it may have been her original item. It's been a, in a too small box and saw someone looking for an ISO. Um, she sold it on Poshmark for $115. Very cool. I'm not, looks like it's a Hot Topic shirt, maybe. I don't know. I can't see the um, actual title, so I apologize. The next one is an $8 Salvation Army find, sold it for $45, listed it higher at $75, dropped the price to $50, and then sent an offer for $45. It took almost two months to sell, still a fun and unique piece. It is a vintage inbox portable blood pressure monitor. Hmm. Interesting. Um, okay, this next one. Bought this Christmas tree needle craft kit for $2.99 at a Value Village thrift store. Sold in two months for full asking price of $124.95 plus shipping. And it's by Bucilla. Bucilla is an excellent brand. Any cross-stitch kits by Bucilla, I always look them up. If they're cheap, I just grab and go because they're always a bread and butter, but sometimes they can be big money. The next item, found this at a yard sale for seven bucks. It sold for full price plus shipping. It is an Apple Macintosh Quick Take 200 digital camera and Fujifilm uh, media card tested and it sold for $160. The next item bought for $1.50 at the Goodwill sold in about two weeks for $59. It is this earnest scared stupid Blu-ray disc and it sold for $59. It looks like it is brand new and sealed. The next item paid $4 at the Goodwill and took a best offer of $125. These looked like a floor display pair as one shoe was slightly discolored. 
And they are Converse All-Star Chuck Taylor Grateful Dead Ice Cream Kid Jerry Garcia shoes. 125 bucks. How cool are those? The next item was bought at the Goodwill Bins for less than a dollar and sold for $224 on a seven-day eBay auction. It is a, it looks like it's a patch, um, World War II patch. So you can check it out right here. Pretty cool, right? This next item bought seven Furbies for a total of $7 off of Facebook Marketplace. This one for Furby right here sold for $87. It looks like it's a super rare wizard fur Furby. Looks like the buyer paid shipping and that sold on Mercari. I do apologize. Mercari does like to put the sold banner right through the item photo, but should be pretty easy to look up. The next item bought at the Goodwill bins for less than a dollar, sold it for $244.50 in a seven day eBay auction. Um, I, I'm sorry, it says $244, but it looks like it actually sold for $204.50. And you guys, these are rare vintage 1980s baby guess overall bibs. <gasps> How cute. I love it. Uh, the next item, bought for a dollar, buyer paid shipping, sold to someone in my own town, it says. You got to love that. Okay, you guys. So I have talked about this bolo quite often. It is an Avon advent calendar. They have a little mouse that goes into each day of the month on like one through 24 and then has, you know, the 25th for Christmas, but you move the mouse. Okay. It's from 1987. It's vintage. It's a countdown calendar. These sell for big money. Some of them can go for over a hundred dollars. If you've just got the mouse, list the mouse also. You know, if you like, if you go and you get one and the calendar is all tore up or they don't have the calendar, you can still sell the mouse separately. All right. The next item is bought at a yard sale for around 25 cents. It is this vintage musk. It, um, it's a men's cologne aftershave and this sold for $50.99 plus shipping. Just so anybody that's new that doesn't know, all perfume cologne must ship ground. The next item purchased at the Goodwill bins paid about $2 and sold in seven days auction for $630. Okay, I have never seen this guy before. Um, he is a vintage Sasha Greger Burnett Boy doll. No clue. I guess I've seen it on my Facebook group. So I have seen it before because I saw when she originally posted this. But how amazing is this? Have you guys ever seen this guy? $630. Oh. Okay, the next one, they paid $8 in an estate sale for this. It's a vintage Mobo Bronco metal riding horse. So made in England. So it's basically a kid sits on this and rides it. It's a rocking horse. Sold it for $200 plus shipping. The next item, found this at the Salvation Army for $2.99, sold for full price of $179, and it went internationally. So the buyer with all of their duties and fees and shipping, it was $258 all in. This is an Adidas Cafusa Official Match Ball, FIFA Confederations Cup Brazil, 2013. I would have saw it and thought, oh, it's a soccer ball. No clue. Look how big money this guy is. Wow. Okay, the next one is this antique Newell Post 1920, bought off Facebook for 50, sold for full asking price of 400, took five months to sell. I still don't know what it is. Um, here's the photo. I'm guessing it's some type of furniture piece. Let me know in the comments if you guys know. The next item, I'm like, I've sold these before. Um, I have not sold this style, but I actually have one of these um, that I picked up with a book and it's sitting somewhere in my money pile. So I'm kind of annoyed that I have no idea where it is, but she bought this for 50 cents in a Goodwill box and sold it for $43 on Mercari. And it is a um, leap reader pen. So you run it across the page of the book. I have sold a bunch of these. Um, I did really, really fantastic with these items. I picked them up at, um, a garage sale, a huge tote, 
and I sold them during uh, when we were all on lockdown for um, like when we had, I don't know, what was it like a month? Everybody had to stay home and people were buying these like crazy for their kids, but they're leapfrog tag book readers. So definitely um, a big money bolo. I, I'm sorry, not a big money bolo, a great bread and butter bolo, but this one actually $43 is big money for a pin in my opinion. All right, the next item, we're gonna do one more and then I am gonna call it stopping time for this video and I'm gonna do the other ones on another video. So I'm gonna make it a two um, set series. So definitely make sure you're subscribed to the channel, hit that bell that will notify you when I post new videos. But the last one here is amazing. So it is a Disney Peter Pan Raccoon Twin Lost Boy Plush stuffed toy. Paid $2 at the thrift store. Um, obscure Disney characters are always a bolo. Sold for $190 in a few weeks. Two bucks into $190. This guy right here, you want to find him. Now, he is new with tags, so I'm sure that brought the value up, but these items can still definitely be a bolo. All right, you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Again, please let me know if you like this format better than the other. Um, hit that thumbs up. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.